What's up guys, this is my review of the leaked Android 4.3 Jelly Bean for the Galaxy Note 2. So right now I'm running Android 4.3 on my Note 2. So if you want to install this firmware, I will leave the link in the description so that you can install it. And we have recently received this leaked firmware. So hopefully soon we will have the final version of the Android 4.3 with a lot of new features. But for now I will show you the features that we have with this test firmware. Starting from the lock screen. You have this new light effect lock screen, alright, there you see. And uh, you also have multiple widgets on the lock screen. You can add multiple widgets over here. You even can open the S note on the lock screen now. Hold the S pen button and double tap the screen and you'll have your S note on the lock screen. So this is from the Note 3. We don't have the transparent status bar that we have seen with the Galaxy Note 3 and even the weather widget is the old one, not the new that we get with the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3. We have some new icons for the Samsung apps, camera and so on. Coming to the camera, we have some new shooting modes with this firmware. Let me quickly show it to you. So here we have HDR, Panorama and Sound and Sort as well. So some new modes, so that is really good. Now the double finger pull down works. Double finger pull down will give you all the toggles and a single finger pull down will give you the notifications as well as quick toggles. You also can swap to toggle space from here. Let's go on to settings and uh, here we have this new setting layouts four tabs on the top okay my device accounts and more so this is new going on to lock screen we have ripple effect as well and uh, with the ink effect okay so let me just quickly show it to you there you see so we had this effect with the previous android version as well i just wanted you guys to inform we even have this effect with this new firmware Moving on to app drawer, we have uh, play games added, Samsung wallet and Samsung Knox added. So uh, Samsung wallet is a wallet application where you can add your credit card details, membership details and so on. You can save your infos and data there. We even don't have the new S note that we have with the Galaxy Note 3. We have the same old S note. We also have the Samsung Knox support. And uh, Samsung Knox is a security application, provides security for your apps. Uh, it is somewhat like the guest user, the guest account that we have on Windows. We also have this magnification gesture with this new firmware. Go on to settings and under my device, you have this accessibility. Here, scroll down, enable magnification gesture. And now, triple tap and you have this magnified view. So again triple tap go back sorry guys triple tap you have a magnified view and again triple tap you have the normal view we even have improved multi window as well as improved video player so starting with the video player so on your video player you can slide this right side to increase the volume and on the left, you can increase or decrease the brightness. So that is good. You even can increase the scrubbing rate. Once you have this preview here, tap and hold. Slide up to increase the speed. As you can see, it's four times. And slide down to decrease. So that is new. We have some new options with the multi-window now. We can run more than two applications on this multi-window. Say for example, we have messaging gallery and we have the video player okay say for example you want to switch back to messaging tap here go on to switch application and here you have multiple applications you can go on to messaging again you can go back to your video player so this is a really good add-on we also have this new active app widget but the assistive light is missing so guys, these are some of the new features added to this new firmware. 
Apart from that, everything is working as it should. No issues with the camera, Play Store, Wi-Fi or any of the functionality. Everything works perfect and smooth. This new update seems very smooth and very responsive. Talking about the battery life, the battery life is pretty much the same. Not a significant change. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.